hello friends and uh, welcome today i have for you an interesting desk pen it is made uh, by the shuffles fountain pen company and i uh, bought it as it is without uh, the original stand office stand I bought it because I liked this beautiful, beautiful nib. This is a, like I told you, a Sheffield's nib. Made in USA, a 14 karat gold nib. And has this identification 44. So I don't know what 44 stands for. Maybe it is the type of nib that Sheffield used in that period. I believe that this fountain pen is from the 1920s or 1930s. It is a quite big uh, nib, a beautiful nib. I like especially that uh, breathing hole in a form of a heart. On the back of it, we can see this ebonite feed. It has this part of the grip that um, entered the, the um, stand, the desk stand. It continues and we have this beautiful golden plated um, metal bar. And here we have the imprint W.A. Sheffer Pen Company, Fort Madison, Iowa. USA made in USA you can see that there is an, a breathing hole right between Madison and Iowa and we continue with this specific uh, part for the desk pens this unscrews and uh, you can take it off and reveals the barrel which is empty. I don't know how this uh, pen worked. So um, first I thought that um, it's an eyedropper. So you put the ink with the syringe on an eyedropper in here. But then I thought to myself, what is the point of, of having this breathing hole? So I'm not sure how uh, the system works. We will do a writing sample, but we will just uh, treat it like it's a dip pen. So um, we have uh, here the Parker Queen King. Give it a shake. Open it. Okay. And I will simply emerge the fountain pen in ink and uh, let it for 10 seconds. Okay, so let's see if uh, it writes. So this is a Sheffer's desk pen, from uh, 1920s or 1930s it has a beautiful 14 carat gold nib on the nib we have imprinted 44 it's quite a wet writer i believe this is a broad nib Let's see we, if we have some I wouldn't call it a flex nib but uh, it feels good on paper mm. 
definitely a nice tune in the contact with the paper. Thank you for watching this uh, small review. If you have additional information about uh, Scheffler's, Scheffler's uh, desk pens and about the 44 on the nib, I really appreciate if you leave it in the comments. As always, I wish you to have a nice day. And uh, thank you for watching this review. So my friends, in the fountain pen world, all that have patience will be in the end rewarded. Why? Because I finally found out the mystery of this unique Sheffer Dex pen without a filling ink mechanism. Before I post uh, this uh, video on my channel I thought to myself to enter a Facebook group called the Vintage Fountain Pen Collectors and inquire about my fountain pen. So I was intrigued uh, about the filling system. What's, uh, what is the filling system? It is a deep pen. S should I try use it uh, as a uh, eyedropper pen to put uh, ink in the body in the barrel of the found of uh, the fountain pen the so-called fountain pen and i posted some pictures and a nice member of the group said to me and i quote it's not a fountain pen it works with a, with a fountain base in my ignorance, I asked him, I don't understand. Do you mean it is a deep pen? And his answer was, it's the pen from a safeguard desk set. The base contains the ink, so the pen's nibs is immersed in ink when it is in the base. Okay, an interesting clue. So I have a Sheffer's safeguard desk set and uh, I entered these words on Google and this is what I found indeed there was a Sheffer's desk pen it is um, let's say the only deepless type of Sheffer ever offered on the market it was first introduced in 1941 and it was called fountain of use and it appears that it stayed in production till 1958. It has a, an interesting advertisement campaign. They state that no other reservoir desk set in the world can make these claims. The first claim, practically unspillable. Even if tipped over, the chances are 100 to 1 that safeguard won't spill. Point always clean, right instantly, even after weeks of inactivity. The base performs the function of a fountain pen reservoir, but it holds from 30 to 50 times as much as a pocket fountain pen. So, refillings are spaced over the years. One dip writes hundreds of words, holds a full bottle of uh, skip, skip ink, pen point doesn't get gummed up, evaporation practically null, instant, instantly interchangeable points. So, uh, it ends economy, convenience, performance, all in the plus side. Sheffer Pen Company, Ford Madison, Iowa. So, this is the mystery. And indeed, it's not a fountain pen, because it hasn't a fountain pen reservoir. The reservoir is held in the 
base that you hold on your office. So, Mr. Resolve, guys, um, in the end, after I did the writing sample, I can tell you it is a smooth, smooth writer. And uh, I like the idea that you can have sort of a deep pen that can um, uh, write such uh, many, many, many words before it runs dry. And uh, I like also the feed bonite that, uh, in my opinion, holds a crucial role for this uh, interesting contraption. It, <laughs> it was... Um, interesting offering at that time uh, believe me i thought it was from the 1920s of the 1930s but no it is a fountain pen made in this period and this particular model which had uh, this gold band i believe it was made in the 1940s because in the 50s Schaeffer uh, did uh, the models without this uh, gold uh, plated um, band so thank you for your time i hope you've uh, liked this uh, mystery and i want to thank the gentleman who helped me on the facebook uh, group called vintage fountain pens collectors and uh, enlightened me <laughs> helped me with uh, this uh, mystery thank you and as always have a nice day